Hi, this is a Noski Station video and I'll be uh, talking about peak expiratory flow rate and uh, inhaler technique as well. Okay, so, hi. hi. My name is Karan Rajan. I'm a fourth year medical student here. Um, doctors have just asked me to talk you through about how to use an inhaler as well as um, how to use one of these devices as well. Okay. okay. Uh, before we begin, could I just uh, confirm your full name? Mary Jones. Okay, and your date of birth? 1st of January 1990. Okay, so that would make you how old roughly? 22. 22, okay. Um, so can I begin by asking um, if you know the reason as to why you're here today? Um, I have, I have uh, difficulty breathing. Right, okay. And have the doctors ever mentioned uh, that you may have something called asthma? That's, that's the one, yes. That's asthma, the one. okay. And uh, how long have you noticed uh, trouble breathing? Uh, it's been there for some time. Okay. Uh, only recently I decided mm. to come to the doctors about it. And you've discussed really with the doctors about uh, yeah, the condition. Yeah, said this should help me. Yeah. Okay. Help me with the breathing. So to begin with, uh, I'm going to talk you through um, this device, and um, so basically this device will help us to um, sort of assess your lung function and how your breathing is day to day. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm just going to talk you through it step by step, and then I'll ask you to. Uh, demonstrate to me, so I know you've uh, understood all the information I've told you. Okay. Um, so basically, this is the um, end which you would blow through, and you'd use this, say, a disposable mouthpiece, and you'd attach it to the um, end of that, make sure it's fitted in well, and make sure this dial here, this red dial, is at zero every time you begin, and hold um, Put both your hands on the sides of the dial, make sure it's not obstructing it at all. And you know, sit up straight, hold your head up high, put your um, form a tight seal around the mouthpiece, and then before that, take a deep breath in and then blow out as hard as and fast as you can. Imagine you're uh, blowing out some candles across the room. Okay, so I'll just give you a quick demonstration. Okay, so So something like that, mm -hmm. and hard and as fast as you can, and uh, you take the best of three readings. So I'll ask you to do it two more times after you've done the first one, and um, yeah, and make sure the device is not uh, tilted either way, and make sure it's level. Okay. Okay. Um, so again, once you finish with this, you can uh, throw it away in the bin. Okay. Um, have you got any questions for me? Um, when should I? use this. Right, um, so I should mention that um, you should use this uh, before and after you take your medication okay. so we know if any of the medication for your asthma is working or not and uh, so and all the readings you get from that mm -hmm. you can mark them in a diary which we'll give you and so you note down the readings in the diary and then mm -hmm. You can um, look at the diary with your doctor so he can chart your progress and how your medication is working and okay. how your lungs are improving. Is there anything that says I'm normal? Um, yeah, normal? so um, I'm glad you asked that. So now I'll just talk to you about this, uh, this chart that we have. Yeah. Um, basically, um, this chart, which um, it's just a segment from your diary, you note down your readings in that, mm -hmm. and then you'd, uh, you know, you'd mark your readings in that, and then the doctor will be able to um, extract the graph from this, and he can compare this to um, values which are uh, expected as normal, mm -hmm. and we can uh, figure out um, how your lungs are uh, getting on day to day. So, is there anything else you'd like to ask? Okay, so if you don't mind now, I'd like you just to give me a quick demonstration if you don't mind. Just so I know that um, I've explained clearly enough because I know I've been doing a lot of talking, so it's time so, for you. So, this is the, uh, the device, and yep. I need to put the mouthpiece on it. Yep. And I need to make sure that the, uh, the red dial is at the bottom of the, the bottom of the thing and not over there somewhere. And when I'm ready, I have to sit up straight. Yeah. Is that right? Okay, so I sit up straight and place my fingers around uh, the side of the device like that. And I had to keep the thing straight. Yeah. Well? Okay. And do I have to breathe out? So take straight? a deep breath in and form a tight seal around the mouthpiece. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. 700. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah. So if you just, uh, again, you could do that two more times. You don't have to do it now if you don't want to, but um, you can do it a couple more times. Okay. Yeah. Just a bit of 700. Oh, okay. okay, that's pretty good. Um, so yeah, uh, once you get those readings, you note them down in your diary and uh, you have regular checks with your doctor and he'll be able to assess how your lungs are functioning and if the medication that uh, the doctor prescribes is having any effect at all. Okay. Um, well, that's me done. Is there anything on your part you'd like to ask? Um, no, not, none that I can think of at the moment. Okay. Thank you very much. Cool. Thank you very much. Thank you.